Previously, after five years in hiding, that was quite disturbing. I think I was actually sick in my own mouth. You've been talking to people about this. Am I fuck? Cat's a dickhead. Did you see the little evil eyes? <laughs> she really is evil inside. Dexter and Gina's return. Oh my god, Gina Dexter! Oh my god! Rocked the house. We would like to save Charlie. He must now choose one housemate to replace Charlie. Jackie. <gasps> I just knew it. Tonight, a house divided. I feel like taking away the cigarettes just to see how Walter will feel. What is the worst that can happen? I'm fucking going insane. Leaves relationships on the brink. It's so rude. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, Daily's such a fucking idiot. Everything's fine when really it's not. You are the evil, nasty person. An absolute bitch. You definitely are quite scheming. If you're talking about me, bruv, say it to my face. Whatever happens, I look like the arsehole. No offence, but you look like the arsehole anyway. Dear twenty eight nine forty four AM for this week's shot and task, safe house residents Gina. Dexter and Charlie will form the Big Brother Treasury. They'll raise money towards the house's shopping budget by imposing a series of taxes on their fellow housemates. The more they raise, the more housemates will have to spend on their shopping this week. There's lots of posters everywhere, kids. Posters? Their times are tough, let's pull together with pictures of Dexter, Gina, or Charlie on them. Look, <laughs> oh, it's Charlie around the corner. Huh? Charlie's picture around the corner. On the door there. Sorry? Treasury Chambers. Oh. What's Treasury Chambers mean? I don't know. This is Big Brother. Will housemates go to the treasury chambers? Oh my god. Are you fucking joking? I've got a dress. Hang on. Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> Four off, I need to get changed. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. That is some funny <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I really, really want it. It's time for the Treasury members to make their first tough decision. To raise £95, they must decide whether to remove the housemates' beds or all of their clothes. Beds, beds or clothes? I'm now thinking maybe the clothes, take away the clothes. <laughs> For this week's shopping task, Big Brother has appointed Gina, Dexter and Charlie as members of Big Brother's Treasury. These are very tough economic times and the Big Brother house is not immune from them. It is now the Treasury's job to impose various taxes on you all to raise revenue towards your shopping budget. Will the Treasury make their final decision? Take away all housemates' clothes for the remainder of the task. Remember, guys, times are tough. Let's pull together. Oh, shut up, Dexter. <laughs> You're such a big Yeah, Dexter, shut up. <laughs> we need knickers. Well, I ain't even got a bra on. Again, two days without a fucking bra. The Treasury meeting is now over. Housemates should return to the house. OK, bye. Bye now. Bye. Been taking yeah, that much. Much. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I should have got my back, you fucking Oh, they've repaired the walls now, I think. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. There's literally nothing. Yeah. Shoes, everything. Shoes, the lot. But they left our toothbrushes. They just took the cases. What the fuck was that? 
10.57 a.m. This week's eviction is on Jackie's mind in the diary room. I'm not going to lie, I will be very nervous on Friday. But there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. I think Hazel might stay. Because you know, she's popular and... Um, I can't imagine, she, I can't imagine she'd be voted out. She's a beautiful looking girl, she's a nice girl. Um, to me, there's nothing to dislike about Hazel, so I imagine that's how they perceive her in the outside world. That's, that's, yeah, that's my thoughts on Hazel. I think Wolfie might go. Um, I might go. Last night, Dexter gave Daly some advice about Hazel. If you're not going to commit, then, then don't stay on the fence, yeah? You, you can't have your cake and eat it and then go home and have dessert. Mm. Oh, no, it weren't nothing much. It was just saying if I'm going to pursue you, then pursue you. If not, then don't, basically. In a nutshell. OK. But then he said, he's looking out for me because he don't want me to look like a mug or something. I don't know what you meant by that. So I'm just trying to figure that out myself. You know what he meant. What? Girlfriend thing. How other can you look like a mug other than people thinking that you've got a girlfriend and then do whatever? No, he just meant it in a way, if I'm pursuing you, but it's not the same coming back, that's what you said. Are you serious? Yeah, like... I fucking knew it. Basically, basically what he's trying to hint to you is that, like, I'm having a bit of fun with it. No, he never said that. No, but is that what he's implying? I mean, no, I know he didn't say it, I don't but know we, what he's we can implying. all imply things. I don't know what he's implying. But that's what annoys me about Dexter. If he something says you, you say he it. Goes, he just goes, I'm your friend and I don't want you to get hurt. Daly's chosen to uh, go back to stay with his girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Daly's chosen to drop it. Yeah. What, is it no more? No, no more, no more Hazel. Canoodling. I said to him, you can be friends with her, because you, you know, you're still close, but just don't flirt and get too But I don't, think, I don't think you can, when you've got, like, gone that far with someone, you've got feelings. Mm. All it takes is a quick look in the eye and, it, like, do you know what I mean? I mean, obviously Hazel's going to be pissed now. Ha uh ha. -huh. Because she hasn't got what she wanted. Right, to tell the truth, I come in here, right, mm. believing... Mm, in my head that everything will be okay kind mm. of thing even though she says we're not together mm. we'll talk when we get out mm. so i come in here you know just hoping mm -hmm. basically and acting like oh yeah yeah everything's fine when really it's not it will look to anybody who's watching like i'm know that and i'm fully aware and i'm like i'll rob you from your girlfriend you know do what you have to do you know and ain't, ain't gonna no no i know that i'm just annoyed that dex might be implying that i'm you know, whatever, having chats at you and then going off behind your back and going, oh, Daly's such a fucking idiot, like... Right, regarding me, he was, be, he was being... He was just weighing up negatives and positives. And the positives, he was, he was saying blatantly, he was going, listen, who the... F that's his exact words, well, who the, who the fuck am I, mm. yeah? If two people could have something so special, mm. who the fuck am I to tell you not to do that? Mm, mm. He goes, that's to, that's to do with you and Hazel. I knew you were pissed off last night. We we'll talk anyway when we're out. Hmm. <laughs> we just avoid each other like the plague between here and there. <laughs> Coming up, Hazel is laid bare. Hazel cannot wear makeup for the remainder of the task. And Jackie gets honest. I just think you need to learn to treat women better than you do. One thirty-seven p.m. Treasury members Gina, Dexter and Charlie are deliberating over their next set of taxes. They can raise £65 by choosing one of the girls to be stripped of their makeup, and they can add a further £60 to the pot by making housemates spell out the words, Times are tough, let's pull together in spaghetti. 
So what's the most money? Because number one, we have to go with, the two, I reckon, two with the most money. The vainest. Who's the vainest? Yeah, but obviously this has got to be a girl because it says makeup. Yeah, it's got to be a girl. Definitely can't do Sophie. And mum's excluded. Um, and you, me and here. That is Hazel. <laughs> it's just because of that quiz. Picking on her. She looks fine without makeup anyway, so just choose Hazel. Master range alpha, alphabet. <laughs> alphabet spaghetti. spaghetti. But who would we choose for that? Well, it's got to be someone who likes food, so it has to be the twins. twins. Yeah, twins, yeah. Housemates, have you come to a decision? Yes. Yes, we have. We would like um, Hazel not to wear makeup for the remainder of the task, and we would like the twins to arrange alphabet spaghetti on slices of bread. <laughs> Fellow housemates, we appreciate your support during these tough times, but we're not in the clear yet. As a result, further tough decisions have to be made in order to keep raising revenue. They are as follows. Could Hazel please be upstanding to the treasury? Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Hazel cannot wear makeup for the remainder of the task. Just I thought it was going to be like Just to clear. clarify, that's okay. no makeup. Oh, I think that was clear either. enough. Yeah. <laughs> the twins, could you oh. please stand up? If you say I can't eat, I'm sorry, but you I'm can sorry, start I'm playing the task. <laughs> you can play the task. Jack and Joe, you must arrange alphabet spaghetti on slices of bread to continually spell out times are tough. Let's pull together. For Until how long? further notice. Ooh. Are you Remember. bastards? Can no, I eat the toast? Though? What was the other one? Lucky. You've got you said it was worse than your bread. I'm not, not making bread. Hazel. Yeah, so what are you just spelling out? They want me to do this. They provide you with the alphabet spaghetti. It's like a court trial. Is that it? Not that I've ever been. You look like you You look like you three could be on The Apprentice. Why, thank you. It wasn't a compliment. You were Margaret. <laughs> 2 58 pm. Hazel is removing her makeup. I think I got off lightly, didn't I? Or considering. Yeah. Jack and Joe have been sorting spaghetti for one hour and 21 minutes. And that's all you can say for the life of the poor. It's a struggle, it's a war. It's going to be hell to pay. At the end of the day. As well as raising funds, the Treasury will be tempted with secret treats at a cost to the rest of the house. Gina's been called to the diary room. Big Brother thinks you're doing a great job as a member of the Treasury. How would you like the chance to be pampered with a professional makeup artist with also a manicure and a pedicure? Oh, yeah. Oh my God, big brother. Oh, yeah. Great. If you accept your treat, £30 will be deducted from the funds raised by the house so far. But you won't need to tell your housemates about any of this. Really? This will be our little secret. I feel like I do need to enjoy myself a little bit and I, I do feel that I need to, you know, because I'm sure they would do it and they're all not that nice anyway and I don't really benefit from the shopping tasks as, as it is. Oh, I really, really want my makeup done. £20. Really? OK then, I'll do it. It's only 20 <laughs> Three twenty-two p.m. Jack and Joe have been spelling out their task slogan for the past one hour and forty-five minutes. You're not putting any eyes in, Jack. There is none. I've had, literally had no eyes. I've had none. Dexter is talking to Daly about their conversation last night. I didn't want to come in here and upset loads of people because then I'd leave and just think, what was the point in that? Mm. Well, for the sake of entertainment. Yeah. Even with your thing, you probably hate me for, for some of the stuff I said, but I said it as a mate, not as, yeah. not as anything else. No, I'm glad that happened, man. It's like a wake-up thing, innit? Gina has been enjoying a makeover for the past 24 minutes. Oh, I love them. It's a nice colour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hazel and Dan are discussing mm. Dexter. You alright? Yeah, how are you feeling? 
good, yeah. I'm just kind of um, over the the whole concept of them coming back in when we've nominated them out in the house. Mm. Have you, did you speak to Daly at all about why he went quiet? Or yeah, is that all, basically all right? Dexter has kind of implied that I'm mugging Daly off. It sounded to me like he was saying I'm playing up to something just to mm. create something. Um, yeah. They said, you know, they, they said that um, Dexter said Joe and called Joe. Yeah. Like for real? Yeah, he said that's what him and Gina call him. You see, here's the thing, right? They're implying all these things about me, okay? And that's what's bugging me. Say something to back it up. Mm. Let's point out something I've done to make me evil and a snake and blah, blah, blah. A liar. Like what? What? They're not quite new. They're not quite new. They haven't brought me into it. No, no. Yeah, no, no, but I also mm. was. Really? That's what they said. You can't really get on with it. Yeah. A lot of tension between you. Me. Two of you. Um, Just a little, you know. Nothing yeah, personal, but yeah. 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 In the safe house, Gina is returning from her secret makeover. Oh, I'm cold. It's, why is it so freezing? Tell me now. Nothing. Oh. What, what are they saying? Nothing. I know when you're being shady, Gina. What do you mean? You've been gone for ages. Yeah, you've been gone. There's something definitely. You've, you've been gone for an hour. <laughs> and, and you look brown. Oh, I find really? Yeah, you look... yeah I, I thought, I thought they'd given oh, you a spray God, tan exactly... as a gift. Oh, no, no, bronzer, duh. Oh, all right. I thought they'd given you some <laughs> spray exactly tan. Or... You look different because you look Yeah, because you've been different. so long, I thought they'd, they'd snuck you out to the dentist, you got a spray tan, or <laughs> you've been got eating. Spray tan. Yeah, or you've been <laughs> eating hiddenly without us. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> well, I wish I'd been eating, because I'm eating all day. No, but you know, I always go overboard with my makeup sometimes and lots of bronzer. Well, as long as you're right, Gina, yeah, it's nothing cool. that Thank we need you. to know. Thanks. Oh, gosh, they're gone. <laughs> Four thirty-three p.m. Jackie is weighing up the male housemates. Um, I think you are a caring guy. I think you really care um, about people. You do your own thing, mm. which is also cool. That's why you're cool, because, you know, you go and sit in a corner, you don't care if anybody else isn't with you. Um, and you think he's very talented, you said. And you're, well, you are very talented. You could be an actor as well. That's what I think of you, anyway. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Go on then, Jackie. I can Go take on it. Then. I can no, take no, it on no, the chin. Now those two. Are I can okay. take it on the chin, no, Jackie. I said about you, Dexter. I just think you need to learn to treat women better than you do. You referred to me just now as her. It's like the cat's mother. You never. If you're sitting next to somebody and you're, I'm talking to Callum, mm. and I say, oh, he said that, and point he. It's so rude. You say that person's name. Right. Next okay. point is, I came through that door Moving just now, and most of all these guys in here, right, I'm going to do an impersonation of you. I came through, and you were coming towards me, and you went like this. Instead of just doing that, which every single guy has done, regardless of this, every, but you just went to walk in, and I had to go past you like that. Little things like that, Dex, you go, Sorry, uh, for, as a woman. Okay, okay. Say, you say some have good a go things, though. Minute, say some good things. Me, some good things about you is. Um... I think I better just quit while I'm ahead. Jack and Joe have been called to the daily room. You've passed your part of the task. Congratulations. Oh, thank fuck! It just went oh, on and on and on. Seventeen slices of bread. Oh. Times are tough. Let's pull together. together. I never want to see alphabetics be getting again in my life. Oh, how boring! <laughs> I prefer beans anyway. Yeah, I always prefer beans. I wish we had cheese because I would actually st nick cheesy a bit. Cheesy beans. Because I would nick a bit of that bread and have cheese and beans on top. Yeah, that bread was stale. No, some of it was still quite fresh. There was, there was a top bit that was really stale. Yeah, but there's some of it fresh. Can I nick a bit of that bread and make beans on toast? Can I do that? What did she say? Well, she said I got no manners and I'm disrespectful to women. Just because I didn't open the door for her when she came in when? with with a. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not going to, like, 
he didn't open not, the door not, for us. Yeah, I'm not going to piggy toe around everybody. As far as we're concerned, we're all friends in here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when somebody publicly eviscerates my character during a, during an eviction process, oh, that's horrible. Then why am I going to show you respect? Why yeah. am I even going to open a door for you? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. Coming up, Wolfie's howling mad. All right, Wolfie. Christ. And Jackie kicks off. Dexter, I'm sorry, but you're not allowed to have any of our alcohol. No way, Gina, nor you either. <laughs> Five or eight p.m. Treasury members Dexter, Gina, and Charlie are in the Treasury chambers, where they face another big decision: take away all the food from the house, leaving rations, or take away cigarettes for the remainder of the task. Right. Okay. We've got to think about this, though. The people that don't smoke as well. That we've got to think about smokers and non-smokers. I feel like. I feel like taking away the cigarettes just, just to see how Wolfie will feel. I know that sounds nasty. But what I don't think is fair is 70% of the house who don't smoke are going to suffer with the no food. What do you say, Dexter? I'm, I'm unsure myself as well, so... Dexter, just tell me your honest opinion, please. Just play the game, do whatever you think's right. What do you think? Why is it in my hands? What because, do you, you because choose? Because you're the last one. You choose? No, no so we, do it, as, we oh. do it as a team. Gina, to have the responsibility, we all have to right. choose. You, we, we, look, we've got to go majority. Okay, fellow housemates, we appreciate your support during these tough times, but we're not in the clear yet, and more tough decisions have to be made in order to keep raising revenue. It is as follows. Oh, God. Okay. Take away cigarettes for the remainder of the task. If any housemate decides not to follow the Treasury decisions or fail to carry out their task to the best of their ability, the full taxes will not be raised. Remember, times are tough. <laughs> Let's pull together. Wolfie, will you be able to do it? Why? Yeah, you'll be able to do it. This is Big Brother. Housemates need to deposit all cigarettes immediately into the hatch. Any housemates caught smoking money will be deducted from the shopping budget. <clears throat> the meeting is now over. Okay, Coolio, bye Thank you. Oh, oh. Everyone was fine apart from Wolfie. I actually, I actually really, really couldn't even look her in the face. I really couldn't. I did the right thing, look, with the majority. It's not a big deal. We went with the majority of the people. It's a, a day without cigarettes. They've gone longer than that without before. Oh, so you've have done the thing, right thing for a group. So the right thing's done. You all right? What's the matter? Wolf. That's the one thing I said I won't be able to do. Mm. The one thing. You just give it a, a good go, aren't you? No, yeah, I'll give it a good go. I ain't fucking promising now. Like I said, it's only a percentage. Hmm. I can give two shits. You might surprise yourself. or 2 p.m. Callum is educating Sam. What's a bed sit? What's a bed sit? Yeah. A bed sit is a, a type of apartment, a really small apartment but with... No, it's not, that's not nice it. A bed sit is just one, a one-bedroom apartment. And that's a thing, sit. that's like a table next to your bed, isn't it? Bedside table, that is. That's a bedside table, almost. Wolfie is feeling frustrated. Is that too high? 
the shelf. Possibly, yeah, you might need to do the down one. All right, Wolfie. Christ. Earlier, Gina enjoyed a secret makeover session costing the house £20. Now, it's Dexter's turn to be tempted. Hello, Dexter. Hello, Big Brother. Big Brother thinks you're doing a great job as a member of the Treasury. Thank you very much. Big Brother appreciates making tough decisions is not easy. But luckily, there are a few perks to the job. Perks? Big Brother is aware of your penchant for fine wine. How would you like the chance to have a one-on-one -on -one wine tasting session with an expert right now? Sounds good to me. If you accept your treat, £40 will be deducted from the funds raised by the house so far. This means you may need to enforce harsher taxes in the future. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't mind enforcing harsher taxes. Because it's not meant to be a holiday in here. Big Brother has laid on a wine expert for Dexter's treat. Hello. Dexter, hi. Hi. Wow, this is nice. Welcome so to your wine I'm... tasting. Chin Chin, nice to meet you. It's got quite a, like a, a rustic feel. Mm -hmm. It sort of tastes quite smoked. If you like the, the, the poor man's mess, mm. although it's not very poor, if you know what I mean. I'm getting the peach, I'm getting the burn, burn oak. Beautifully done. It's. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cooked pears, cinnamon, that little tiny bit of coffee taste. Yep. Blueberries, that sort of um, orange leathery taste, yep. sort of like quite cow, cow like. Yep. There's a lot of fruit, there's a lot of waves crashing against the rocks. Very poetic. Lovely. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is amazing. Chin chin. Eight forty seven PM. Charlie, Dexter and Gina are in the safe house. Hello, big brother. Hello, Gina. How would you all like some champagne? Yes, please. Yes. Big Brother is happy to deliver champagne to the three of you in the safe house. Okay. However, a £25 tax will be deducted from the shopping budget. Do we need, to, do we need champagne? How, how, how badly does everybody want a drink? Um, I do really want a drink. I, I would love a drink, but I don't want to fuck up the shopping budget. It's only, it's only 25 quid and it's already been fucked up by them already. They've already... And possibly other people. But the thing is... We need to make, yeah, I don't know, we need to keep on making hello, more Gina. money there. Okay, hello? Big Brother needs a decision. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the housemates are gathered in the living area. Look how he's... <laughs> oh, look, he's such... Oh, he's standing oh, my God, at I want the window him. going, uh, open the champagne. <laughs> he's so pathetic. Don't give him the attention and this actually wants, because that's what they want. Guys, guys, let's just remember, at the end of the day, the more people in the house, in... One of the houses is us lot. So We're the one that's going to have the most fun in the if long If we get term. wine tonight, they're not having none of it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! oh! <laughs> Dexter! Dexter, are you cleaning the how to open a bottle of champagne? I, no, please? I do, actually, but I don't know why. I think it's just the heat in here. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's fine. God. I sprayed it all over Whoa, whoa, bed. whoa. Whoa. There you go. He loves yeah, it. Yeah, pretty really much everyone. They can't have any of our Sam, drinks. Sorry. Sam. How would you like an evening to enjoy drink, dancing, and use of the pool? Yay! These pleasures come at a cost. Shop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 200 quid. If you want to enjoy these luxuries tonight, a tax of £75 will be deducted from the total amount of the shopping budget raised so far. Mm, so that's not good. I'm I say no. What do we get? One to decide. What do we get exactly, though, Big Brother? The pool, um, drinks, and a night of music, music and dancing. Like, they want us to say yes. They want us to say yes. Yeah, yeah of course no, they do. So let's, let's not I'd go for no. it. Let's not be mugged off. I'd say no. Let's not be mugged Hands off. Hands up, says no. I want it just to get drunk and have a dance. I think we should just go for it. What is the worst that can happen? Big Brother, the answer is yes, please. Yes. Nine fifteen PM. 
Callum is testing Wolfie's resolve. Wolfie, are you gagging then? Are you gagging yes. for a fact? Yes. I'm fucking going insane. Hey. No one here understands. Uh, Dexter, sorry, but you're not allowed to have any of our alcohol. Yeah, you're not. No. Gina. No way. Gina, nor you either. Wait, why? No, because we you're not. We pay for it. You've had champagne and you're not having ours. No, no, no. Oh, wait, what did your brother say that? And that's what we said. And it's not fair on us. You've had They're a taking it anyway. They're taking it's it. It's not fair on us. I just poured a little bit. Mum, calm down. She just filled it up. <laughs> oh, calm down. No, Jesus Christ, Jackie, Mum. Jackie, take Get it some perspective. No, it's just some yeah, alcohol. Yeah, if she out of her hand. It's just some alcohol. Get it's some perspective. Easy, 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 easy. No, but Charlie, we all Guys, agree. come on. No, Charlie, like, you weren't in here. We all you agree. You can't right. charge no, like Charlie, that. over a bit of alcohol. We all agree. We would make right here. We paid for it, but they've got their own. We paid for it, and they've got their own. We paid for our own. And we all agree. They paid for their champagne, we've paid for our drink. We couldn't have their champagne, so why can they have our drink? We can't have your champagne. Yeah. And we all agreed that you wouldn't have our Wine. Oh no one told us, I feel bad. I feel like it's unhygienic to pour no, it back. No, I'm sorry, no one's sticking by me. No, we are, Jackie. We said we all agreed. Jackie, we said we all agreed. We've paid for it and they shouldn't have yeah, any. We've paid for it. Yeah. We've paid for it. And they shouldn't have it. They should put it down the sink. Have that, but that's it. Because we had to pay we had to pay no, for ours, fine. you no paid one for told yours. Us. No one told us. That's fine. We just shouted at the sink. Or we just shouted at the fridge that you shouldn't take it. We just shouted at you over there. Oh, when when I poured it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you it, was it, it was already poured. Before you poured it. It was already poured. Were, were you there? Behind the fridge door. Were you, were you, While you were there? hiding behind the fridge oh, door. Whatever. Get angry over alcohol? <laughs> really weird. Yeah, after half a glass. Good woman. Really, really weird. Like yourself. Bit of an entertainer with a drink on your own. Yeah, and just loyal to your friends as well. Little bitch. Was fed up with smug little faces all the time. Coming up, Dexter gives Hazel some home truths. Right, you look like you're a cold, heartless bitch. Seriously? But Dearly is not happy. If you're fucking saying shit about me, fucking say it to my fucking face. Eleven forty-two p.m. After watching her for five days from the safe house, Dexter's okay. telling Hazel what he saw. The first couple of days of watching, mm. yeah, mm. it looks like you are the evil, nasty person that's trying to wreck someone's relationship. Really? Genuinely? Genuinely. And I'm, I'm not lying. As the story progresses, mm. it, you start to see the connection and the bond between you two, mm. so you both look as bad as each other. But when, mm. but when it first started to become apparent, it just looks like you're Me. the person that's going out to specifically wreck someone's relationship and you look like a cold heartless bitch. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not going to make any excuses, but you part, you've obviously heard every single conversation we've and had. And we've seen everything as yeah. well. And the stuff that we see, yeah. there are some moments that it looks so fucking horrible and disgusting and cringeworthy. Like what? No, it, it just looks really, really cringeworthy. It looks like... Sorry, I'm no, just, no, no. I'm say just, it, I'm just say saying it, it how it, it yeah, is. Yeah. I know I'm going to look back like, like no, a bad no, no. guy say it, on say TV. It. Say it. But, no, it just looks really like like loose as well and like you're going out just like putting yourself out even though we haven't kissed haven't jumped into bed haven't cuddled it's, haven't it's just the way it is really yeah house dynamics are being discussed in the living area most, most people in here actually quite a few people qu quite a few say it how it is to the person's face if they've said it behind they say it to the face and then there are some people that just say it behind not to the face that's true it's just the way the people are like people aren't always up front or they say things they just like saying it yeah, to but a it friend ain't about up front it, either it's about like oh. being sly well have you got someone in mind because if you have you should spit it out have i got someone in mind got someone in mind no, I, just, it I don't like the way dexter's no. going on yeah, he's sly fucking mind he's, 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 he's pissing me off I will tell him. I will tell him. In a minute, I'll tell him. I swear down, I'll tell him. Bollocks. Bollocks. What didn't do you any favours yeah. is when you said, I can drop him like that. Sorry, just putting out there, you look like you're a cold, heartless bitch. And then when people started talking to you yeah. about the fact that that it's not right and speaking to Daily that it's mm. not right, then then you were like, oh, I don't want to be pinned down as this, this home working with... So it, mm. it was suddenly like something had changed in your head and you realised how you, how you come across. Yeah, I did. So, yeah, so, so... So that's why I cut it down. I was like, fine, so now, I don't need this. So now it, yeah. looks, now it looks even worse. Okay. 
that's what this is all about. I did not realise that this was. No, it isn't just about that. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is this this is this is the crutch of it. Mm. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I like him, and he didn't deserve that. You know, it it just looks like. Oh, oh. you never tried to haunt me though. I know, but come on, some of the moments you had were probably some of the most... Listen to probably me. Mon probably some of the most disgustingly awkward moments that I've ever watched on national television <laughs> in my life. Really? Even if they condense 15 minutes of the five days that we've watched and put out your bits for 15 minutes... I'd die of embarrassment. Well, be prepared to die of embarrassment. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, like... The party looked disgusting. The, the treehouse bit where he puts the cap in front of his cock because he said he's got a hard on and you're going, hug me, hug me, and all this sort of stuff. Looks fucking awful and disgusting. You look like you're leading every single guy on inside the room for, and manipulating them for your own personal gain. Yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm gonna go out there, I'll minute. Well, go, Daily, go on. Yeah, but I, what, do you think it is about <laughs> okay. me? I know it is. Yeah? Yeah. 100%. Because if it's 100%, then I'll go. Because uh, it's just done, you know? L fucking hell, man. I mean, <laughs> that's it. To my fucking face. No, no, face. no, no, no. You're a fucking no, maggot. No, Daily, don't, because they You're might be talking about something different I don't now. give a fuck, man. He's a maggot. <laughs> fucking sick. Say that to my fucking face. Oh, Dexter, bruv. Yeah. If yeah. you're talking about me, bruv, say it to my face in front of bu bu her and me, bruv, because I don't like all this shit. Because they're all saying shit in there, yeah? If you're fucking saying shit about me, fucking say it to my fucking face. Daily, we, we, we finished, we finished that, that she was asking what my personal opinions were, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll say it to your face, it's exactly the same fucking conversation that I had, Daily. What, whatever me and fucking Hazel have to say to each other, it's between me and her, you know what I mean? God. It's actually about Hazel. Oh, God. Yeah, it's actually about Hazel, Ew. because she... We were talking about, obviously, we, part of the conversation was, was about you two and what we've seen, so we were telling her why, and I just basically said, because, because I think that she was not right in some of the stuff that she's done. And that's it, we were just having a conversation. I, have I not been brutally honest? You've been very brutally honest, yeah. If it's anything to do with me and her, fucking done with it, you know what I mean? It's between me it's and her. Yeah, look. You know what I mean? I don't want fucking everyone fucking talking all the fucking time about fucking me and her all the fucking time. Bro. You know how I feel about you. I'm not sitting there gossiping behind your back. Whatever I, whatever I say, I'll say it to your face as well. Right? I ain't got a problem with you, and you know that. What I don't like is when fucking people are chatting, yeah, my fucking name behind my back, right? And that's it. And anything fucking between me and her is between me and her. Fucking everyone chatting shit all the fucking time. But anyway, let's just finish this now. Everyone's right, getting then. fucking bored of it. It's done. Okay. It's done. All, all right. right. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that. Sorry, brother. No, 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 no. Shit. no, no, no. It's just all right, man. Look. No, I'm sorry, like, for yeah. shouting. No, no, you know no, when no, people no, are fucking fine, saying it's fine, shit. it's fine, it's fine. I just have to talk to you straight up, yeah? You're my boy, you know what I mean? So I have to talk to you straight and up look, and tell you yeah, shit. The conversation that I if I'm getting you, pissed yeah. off, I have to fucking show that I'm pissed yeah. off. Yeah, done. New day, fresh start. Everything's all Can we finished. Hug? Yeah. <laughs> all right. No, I appreciate that, and I told you. Easy. Done is done. One twenty-five a.m. Over eight hours since her last cigarette, Wolfie's craving. I need a fag. I'm not gonna lie to you, I need, I need a fag. I need one. I, I need my tobacco. It's driving me crazy. Big Brother has to respect the Treasury's decision. So Big Brother will not be providing you with tobacco. Are you shitting me?! Charlie, Gina and Dexter are in the safe house. Last night, Charlie quizzed Dexter about a conversation he had observed where Hazel spoke about Charlie. Is she loyal to me or not? Just can I ask that? Um... At the end of the day, people, people say things sometimes and it might be in the midst of the moment or whatever, but I can't 100% say loyalty or, or, or not loyalty. Can you tell me what Hazel said, please? I've just fucking drawn a line in the sand with her now and we made a pact to stay out of each other's way not talk about each other, not do anything. So, so, I, so, so as you, far as I'm concerned now, it's fucking done, done is done. So and you're loyal to, us, to her then? So, so now you're going to leave me hanging about something you said you'd tell me in, in due time because now you've got... Who do you care promised. about more? Hazel or... So you're going to leave me feeling it out of the know? Oh, don't give me catch 22. Well, look, I'll tell you, but just not, not now. No, don't say that because I don't want another night where I'm sat here not yeah. knowing the stuff. 
Dexter, uh, tell no, me. It's not. Okay, please give me a reason who, now why who. you can't tell me. It's your friend that you said you care about so much that you even wanted to help me in my life, but yet you can't tell me something my friend said because you feel like you're gonna. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. All loyalty to me and Gina and all care is gone. I am prepared to say it, but I'm also Are you? I'm also not going to pussyfoot around and say something behind someone's back. So I'm going to go and tell well, her. Well, she did. She did that, that no, about. Her, she yeah. did that about Charlie. Yeah, but I'm going to go and tell her. Where was her loyalty there? That I'm going to tell you. I don't know. I'd rather just no. Honestly, you forget it. That's just ridiculous. That's really disappointing. <laughs> To 12 a.m. Joe and Dearly are discussing Gina and Dexter. I can't work out if, like, the fact they watched everything. I can't work out if it's the best thing that ever happened or the worst thing that ever happened. I think they just. I think the wrong people have been given too much power. In the bedroom, train stations are the hot topic. You slapped in a train station. Oh yeah, several times. Oh, it's not just any train, train station, no. it's Manchester Piccadilly, it's a bloody nice train station. Following their earlier argument, Dexter is in Charlie's bad books. I'm pissed off with you, Dexter, because I just, I, I like you so much, you're so you're such an intelligent guy, but I just feel like you definitely are quite scheming, and you definitely can be manipulative, and you definitely are too smart for me sometimes to know what the hell's going through your head. Look. I don't care anyway if I look like a complete and fucking utter idiot, but the way that I see this situation now is it's a lose-lose. Mm. Why? Because if I tell you mm. and you get upset, mm. you hate me, she hates me. If I don't tell you, you hate me. And it, yeah. isn't, it, isn't, about, it isn't about loyalties, but it's, all, it's also... Well, no, 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 I think it is in one sense, because I know everyone says there's no loyalties in this house, but I personally, in my own weird way, I like, still feel a level of loyalty to... Daily, for instance, and I know that, like, and I obviously have it with my mum, and have it with Hazel to a degree. It's, it's hard because of the stuff of her, but it's equally, you know, I do adore Hazel, and then I clearly have loyalties with you. Look, I've got two options, like I said, and the reason you think, mm. yeah, that 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 I'm, I've got loyalty to Hazel, isn't that reason, and i and I'll tell you the reason now, and I'm going to fucking cringe. Is mm. the reason. The reason why it isn't the fact that you think that I've got feelings for Hazel is mm. because you're the person that I've actually got feelings for. No, I don't believe that for a second. I know how you look at people. You don't look at me in that light. You look at her in that light. No, I think that's all a big divert. No, no Everyone, hang, on, hang on, please. No, let me, I definitely please let me look at the way you look at Hazel. You 100% have feelings for her. You stare at her all the time into eyes. We don't. Ha you very, very, very much. And I've just if you don't believe me, there, ask Gina when we walk in. You do stare at Hazel. But everyone thinks you've got feelings for her. And that's just them. That's but you're a very smart guy. Stirring. You know how to get people to because you're a dating stirring. agent. You clearly, oh obviously, is the most beautiful oh girl in the house. You've had a connection. You even told. Sally had a connection with her. No, it was only, uh, it was only, it was, it was the Plus, it was why would you get, on, why would you pull Daly on his own and get in there and then pull Hazel, a real one-on-one, -on -one, and say all this stuff? Like, I do find it a little bit odd. And also, no, why would you my conversation with Daly, and because she's been looking at us funny all day and there's been tension, so at the end of the day, I wanted to help but then, my friend, but, and then I also wanted to say But do to, you care about me and Daly that much? You want to, that is it genuine, genuine care that you had to pull him aside and pull Hazel aside? It's all in the best interest of Daily. If that's the case, I love that and I respect that. It is all in the best interest and of Daily. And if you pulled me aside to make me aware that's of Hazel's relationship, that's it. then I also love and respect that's that. It. If that is the case, I very much that's respect it. you and I very much adore that's you. That's it at the end of the I'll, day. But I don't want to hurt. I do have my suspicions cause... with you and I, there are some things that I just think. <sighs> I don't trust. That's all it is. Yeah, but it's also not fair that we've got this information now. I, now I'm whatever happens, I look like the asshole. Yeah, but Dexter, no offence, but you look like mm. the asshole anyway. That's fair enough. That's cool. This week, Callum, Hazel, Jackie, and Wolfie face the public vote. Who goes? You decide. To evict Callum from a landline call 0920 50 58 01 or from a mobile 650 58 01. 
to evict Hazel from a landline call 090 20 50 58 or 7 or from a mobile 650 58 or 7 to evict Jackie from a landline call 090 20 50 58 or 9 or from a mobile 650 58 or 9 and to evict Wolfie from a landline call 090 20 50 58 14 or from a mobile 6 50 58 14. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast at the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Join Emma after the break on Bit on the Side with guests Chantelle Houghton and John McQuirrick. 